Welcome back, everyone. Tonight I'm going to be doing a review of Titans Return Repugnus. And if you're checking your calendar to see what year it is, you heard that right. Repugnus here is one of a trio of special edition figures being released by Amazon between basically August and September, commemorating the entirety of the Prime Wars trilogy. So previously there was a Combiner Wars blast-off, and now we have... Titans Return Repugnus, and then lastly we'll get a Power of the Primes Punch Counterpunch. So seeing as this is a Titans Return toy, he does in fact come with a Titan Master. And here it is. Right there. This is his Titan Master Dastard, as in, you know, dastardly. Not what your bad minds are thinking. And he is a new head retool from the previous Daburu and Fangul versions of the mold. Each one of those was a beast former, and he's no different. He is actually made in the image of a beast former called Hedgehog, or in the uh, Hasbro English version, Prickly Porcupine, I believe, but we're going to go with Hedgehog because that's less awful. So he's got a good amount of paint on him, different color plastics, looks nice. Kind of hard to make it the features on his face because it's all painted one color, but hey, there's that. As far as Repugnus himself, he is a very extensive retool of the Twin Inferno mold. Just like Grotusque before him. So the same mold has basically been the design starting point for all three of the monster bots in this toy line. And because of that, there are some oddities with his appearance, you know, some, some differences from the original version. But overall, he, he really nails what Repugnus is supposed to look like. You know, he has his token bug face with the mandibles and regular mouth, big old green eyes there. He's got his claws. He's got the, uh, like, two toes and back claw on his feet there. But then some big differences, you'll notice he has this large, like, stubby tail or like a, maybe an insectoid thorax that the original design doesn't have and you know in real life this is just the result of him being a reuse of a mold not really meant for the character and basically the robot legs just have nowhere else to go so Hasbro decided to make him even more bug-like than he already was give him like a little thorax and then so he's even got what appear to be wings, which are actually his robot mode swords. It's kind of attached to his back. So, I mean, they, they really just took the already existing bug motif and just basically made him a full-on bug. Uh, his arms do have some level of articulation, but not much. Uh, basically, they can move up and down at the shoulder, up and down at the elbow. They can bend in a little bit, and they can rotate in and out. But that's it. Um, they cannot like point outwards at all despite what the image on the box will show you i'll show you that in a minute you can point inwards for all the sense that makes but you know so this isn't you know this isn't perfect you know in an ideal world we would get a completely original mold that gave us the best repugnance you could imagine but you know when you're being a realist knowing this is the best we're going to get in the current toy industry, he works really well in this mode and really can't complain too much. All right, like his mold mates, he does have the ability to transport his Titan Master in his beast mode. And the way he does that is by opening his chest panel. But I, for the life of me, cannot open it with my bare hands. It's just way too tightly in there and I'll end up like breaking off my fingernail before I ever get it. So I actually have to resort to using a tool, in this case a little screwdriver to get in there and just kind of pry it open, which I hate having to do. never want to, you know, pit metal against plastic like that, but I, I really don't see any other way to do it. But yeah, you get the chest open, whichever way you can, and you can seat his little guy in there just like that. And he could ride pretty comfortably inside of Repugnus' beast mode. I'm not going to close that all the way. Uh, one thing worth pointing out, Repugnus is kind of stuck, always looking downwards a little bit. 
I mean, unless you stand up like this, but then it looks kind of stupid. Yeah, you know, he's supposed to be haunched over a little. Now, you can make his head point upwards. The thing is, you'll just kind of be untabbing it from its natural spot. So if you don't mind it, kind of being a little floppy like that, and you want to be able to look up, he can. Just not really the uh, intended way to do that. Now, one thing that was common with the Titans Return toys, especially the Deluxes, is having kind of an alternate alt mode. Alternate, alternate mode. Whatever, don't judge me. And he's no different. So you detach his little wing weapon things from his back. And you can combine them together. Like so. Make this little sled looking thing. That a Titan Master can plug his feet into. Just sit like that. And this will just tab directly onto Pugnus's shoulder. And the instructions have you put it on this shoulder, but it can go on either one. So there's that. Kind of silly looking. Not sure, you know, what the having like swords on your shoulder would accomplish. Though it could be a creative way to allow him to store his Titan Master in his chest, allow him to transport, uh, I don't know, say, his Prime Master that this toy also comes with. So this is a special edition Solus Prime that comes with this toy. In fact, all three members of that uh, Amazon trio have a special edition Prime Master. And if you're thinking that this doesn't look a whole lot like Solus Prime, you're right. In fact, just before making this, I did the review for Solus Prime. So take a look here. Let's see, they are the exact same mold, but the color layout is completely different. A lot more so than the uh, special Megatronus that came with Blast Off. Yeah, you know, it's kind of a night and day difference here. So, yeah, you have two very unique versions of souls to choose from you know if you're not crazy about her looking like you know a little mini octo punch you have this more neutral variation here uh this thing is cast almost entirely in uh clear plastic the legs arms back head are all clear blue with some paint on them so you know be careful Dear God, don't break this thing. So yeah, it does work out pretty well. You could have one of these guys riding in his chest, one of them riding on his shoulder, if you want to do it that way. So unlike Blastoff, he does have some way to meaningfully interact with his Prime Master, even though they're from two separate toy lines. All right, now before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the box and all that. Normally I do that at the beginning, but kind of forgot. So we're going to do that now. Right here's the box he comes in, and just like Blast Offs, it's got this little illustrative flap on the front, and this illustration is just really cool. It's Repugnus in his beast form, just tearing up these generic Decepticons, just kind of cutting through them like a hot knife through butter. Then have the flap open up. You can see the inside where Repugnus normally goes, where Solus Prime goes here. And here we have a little blurb about Titan's Return. It says, uh, many will unite, one will rule. Got a picture of Fortress Maximus attaching its head there. And the description reads, to control an ancient race of warriors the size of cities, the Titans, the Autobots and Decepticons harness the power of Titan Masters, smaller bots that give bigger bots increased abilities in battle. So, you know, if you weren't familiar with Titan's Return, you know, this kind of gets you up to speed. Here's the side illustration, which is part of a uh, three-stage illustration that'll be completed when you get all three boxes side by side. There we have Repugnus, another form, Dastard's interaction with him, and you can see here that on the surrender his arms are pointed outwards, whereas in the actual toy they cannot do that at all. So please don't try, you might break them. Solus Prime up there shows that she's a weapons forger. She's very consistent with all of her um, depictions. And then right here we have his little bio. It says, 
with the Decepticons rising, the Autobots power up with Titan Master Partners to stop them. Dastard gives Repugnus the ability to erase memories and wipe evidence of their missions from existence. Which is probably a good thing, if you know anything about the Monster Bots. They're kind of like a smaller Wreckers team, just kind of go in there and destroy everything. Got your usual 12 Prime symbols here. Yeah, nothing special on the bottom. So that's the box. And here's the instruction booklet. And just like Blastoffs, it's done up in that nice glossy paper from the instructions of yesteryear. And just does a good job of showing you everything about the toy. Got a little bit of that uh, Titan's Return marketing there. I just realized it said head on. That's awesome. I realized they were going to throw in a reference to the old Japanese Headmasters cartoon, but that's pretty sweet. All right, a few obligatory comparisons before we go to the robot mode. Here's Repugnus, and this is the little Titan Master Repugnus that came out during the actual run of Titan's Return. It's a little tiny version of him. Gets all the major details right, you know, the feet, the claws, the face. This one has prominent wings on it due to having multiple modes on this little robot shell here. But, you know, it's kind of like a cute little baby version. They look nice together. Could have one big, ugly family. Here we've got all three monster bots in their beast modes, finally side by side. People weren't really sure we were ever going to get the three of them together proper. You know, a lot of us, I think, thought we were just going to have to settle for having Repugnus as a tiny little Titan Master. So it's really cool that we just finally have the three of these together. And you can probably see some of the similarities here in the molding. Uh, it's basically the lower body is what's common between all of them. But even that has some differences. The front foot piece on him is different than the other two. It's got two claws instead of the three. The thighs actually are new pieces. May not be immediately obvious, but they are um, molded differently. The rest of the lower part, you know, basically from the hip joint down, pretty much the same. And then, like, the torsos are pretty unique between the three of them. And unlike these two, he doesn't even share weapons. So, you know, I, I am really happy to see they, they put a lot of effort into differentiating him from the other ones. It was, a, it was a really good compromise on their part. You know, they're like, well, you know, we don't have the budget for a whole new figure, but here's half of a new figure. So, can't complain. Looks really good. Here we've got to look at Dastard along with his two mold mates. And as I said before, all three of them are based off of Beast Formers. Here we got Deburu, which is Double Cross slash Twinferno's Titan Master. He's based off of White Leo. And then we have Fangul, which is Grotus Titan Master, and he is based off of the Beast Former Platinum Tiger. And you might notice that and you might notice that Deburu is significantly more plain looking than the other two. Uh, really lacks any sort of paint whatsoever on his body. And that difference is due to the fact that he's the only one that was part of a regular retail release, whereas these other two were both special editions. So they both got a little more loving when it came to, you know, the paint and the effort there. So it is a shame. He does look a little out of place, but still happy to have these three, you know, really obscure characters kind of homaged in the forms of these Titan Masters. It's something I, I will say the Hasbro team and, you know, by extension the Takara Tomy team, because they work hand in hand, have been really good about lately is just throwing these neat little nods out here and there. I'm really thankful for that because it just makes the line so much more interesting. And now finally we have his robot mode. And if you know what Repugnus is supposed to look like, this pretty much nails it. Right down to the claw pectorals, the bug uh, head on the back, which creates this kind of wing effect with the mandibles. The colors are all right. And this head that he has from his Titan Master is based directly on the original head from the 80s toy as opposed to the more animation accurate head that came with the regular Titan Master of Repugnus. So his colors are very, uh, very Ronald McDonald-esque. There's definitely no getting around that. I don't 
personally like the way his feet look. You know, he uses the exact same foot setup as the other two. Kind of have like these beast mode feet hanging off the back and doesn't look great, but doesn't detract from the overall present presentation too much. So yeah, he uh, you can see he's wielding his two swords here. And that's kind of the standard configuration, but the instructions also suggest that you can do this. And attach the swords together on one of his forearms as kind of this nice bladed weapon that he can really do some damage with. And personally, I, I think I prefer this configuration more. Just sets them apart a little bit from your standard you know, Transformers design where they're just wielding some plain swords. You know, this kind of double bladed weapon is a little more unique. So I think this is how I would personally keep my guy displayed. Just looks like he can do some real damage there. Now I mentioned the other head, the more animation accurate one. And here that is. And you can see it's pretty vastly different from the one he comes with. And this is based off of how he looks in the uh, Japanese Headmasters cartoon. And there he is rocking the alternate head. So, you know, if you have the older uh, Titan Master Pugnus, you now have a choice for which version of the character you like best. Now, keep in mind, the yellow here doesn't exactly match the yellow plastic. It does look a little bit off. And this head isn't fully animation accurate because in the uh, anime, his eyes are actually supposed to be blue. Now, if you're able to purchase the... Japanese uh, Legends version of that Repugnus. It does come with blue eyes, so if you want to get, you know, really nitpicky and can actually pick one of those up for a decent price, hey, go for it. Personally, I'm not going to sink the cash into the Japanese version of a little Titan Master, but to each their own, right? So yeah, it really depends on just what version of Repugnus you think is the best one. Personally, I, I think I prefer his toy-based head. So I'm going to stick with that. And here are three boys in the robot modes. And I mean, this makes every nerdy part of me completely happy. The monster bots are a relatively obscure group. So they're not one that we ever, you know, held up much hope for as far as getting new toys of them. And now that it's finally happened, all three of them have been released in some form or another. I mean, it just... It really defied expectations. And while the original MonsterBot molds weren't, you know, derived from one another, the fact that these three are kind of helps cement the idea that they are supposed to be a team. You know, the fact that there is some sort of um, similarity between them makes it feel like they work together well as, you know, some sort of a unit. So, yeah, I couldn't reasonably be happier with how this turned out you know considering hasbro is kind of bound by you know making a toy release viable in the market i think there was a lot of creativity a lot of work from the design team that really went into making this happen so i very much appreciate that from them specifically for repugnus himself again he's not he's not the perfect fantasy version that a lot of people probably had in their heads when they pictured what a new Repugnus would look like, but he's more than serviceable. You know, he, he's a lot better than some of the other characters that we've gotten in recent years. Just look at, you know, uh, Huffer and Pipes, which are, you know, basically just Optimus Prime with a different head. You know, those are, you just can't look at them and feel good about them. Like, oh yeah, this is, this is the new Huffer and Pipes right here. But in the case of Repugnus, they, they put enough effort into him to make him look unique that I, I can easily feel like, okay, you know what, this is the Repugnus for, you know, this generation. It works really well, perfectly channels the original version of the character. And, you know, with the other Titan Master, as I said before, you do have the option of kind of customizing him to your personal taste on what Repugnus is supposed to look like. So yeah, if you're able to find one of these, uh, they're $25 on Amazon. And, you know, for that you get a special edition deluxe, which is, you know, given a little more loving in, like, the paint and uh, Tampa Graph department. You get the special Solus Prime here. 
So it's always a nice plus. The fact that she can actually interact with Repugnus is a very nice touch. It's just a matter of uh, getting him when he's available. I was lucky enough to jump on him, you know, when I needed to to make it happen. Not everyone's going to be so lucky, so if you want to complete your Monster Bot trio, really be on the lookout for him. And hopefully you'll enjoy him as much as I did. So that's my take on it, you know. What do you all think? Do you think Repugnus is worth 25 bucks? Does he uh, kind of satisfy your itch for the final Monster Bot? Love to know what you guys think. This is actually the second review I've recorded tonight. Might be the second of three. We'll see how that goes. So hopefully I was able to, you know, kind of keep together. I know I already, you know, forgot to review the box first thing, and that was completely my bad. But all in all, I think this was a competent enough review of the toy. So I hope you all enjoyed it. And with all that said, I will see you all next time.